to East Visit Foundation's Urban Gardening Webinar Series. In this webinar series, we will teach you how you can grow your own healthy, nutritious food at home. My name is Joyce and in today's episode, my colleague Kuya Bulak and I will be sharing how to manage pests and diseases in your home garden. Integrated Pest Management or IPM is an ecosystem approach to crop production and protection that combines different management strategies and practices to grow healthy crops and minimize the use of pesticides. It emphasizes the growth of a healthy crop with the least possible disruption to agroecosystem and encourages natural pest and disease control mechanisms. IPM facilitates conservation of environment. Through integrated approach in minimizing the pests in our garden, it gives us safe, quality, and fresh produce. Lastly, it provides us with passive income as we don't need to purchase external inputs just so pest infestation be minimized. The following are the components of IPM. Prevention. This means preventing the buildup of pests. Monitoring. Monitor crops for both pest and natural control mechanisms. Intervention. Intervene when control measures are needed. As a way of controlling pests from reaching damaging levels, some of the control programs that can be employed are the following. Physical and mechanical control, cultural control, biological control, and chemical control. In today's episode, physical and mechanical control, cultural control, and some biological control methods will be covered. Cultural control technique address the manner in which we cultivate plants and are directed at reducing and avoiding pest problems. At the heart of cultural control are practices to maintain plant health. In the following slides, we'll share how these cultural controls are being done. Some available plant varieties are resistant to insect activity and damage, and resistant to some plant diseases. For example, Jamantimax F1 tomato is resistant to bacterial wilt and tomato yellow leaf curl virus. Pia F1 calabasa is resistant to squash leaf curl virus. Crop rotation is the practice of growing different types of crops in the same area or container sequentially. It reduces reliance on one set of nutrients and the probability of developing resistant pests and weeds. For urban gardeners, we should change the crop planted in the container or bed at the end of the crop cycle to that of a different family. For example, if we start with leafy greens or pechay, after harvesting all the pechay, we will next plant tomato or eggplant in the same pot. When it's time to replace the eggplant or tomato, we can plant beans or cucurbits, then go back to a leafy green. Intercropping is an all-encompassing term for the practice of growing two or more crops in close proximity, in rows or strips that are close enough for biological interaction. For example, annual grains and vegetables can be set side by side, corn, beans, and squash. Also, some perennial species with annual crops can grow well together, garlic, basil, and tomatoes. Marigold is a useful and decorative plant to add to your garden because it attracts beneficial insects. In essence, these are all forms of companion planting in which one plant provides some useful component for another. Mulching is the best way to maintain a healthy, weed-free garden and your vegetable garden is no different. Mulching in vegetable garden has many benefits. Controlling weed is the major one. It also prevents water evaporation. A good mulch helps keep the soil moist longer, which means less watering. It keeps the soil and plant roots cooler, so plants are less susceptible to drought condition in the heat of summer. It helps to lessen the chance of many common vegetable pests and diseases. 
Organic mulches in the process add nutrients to the soil as they break down, improving soil quality and attracting worms. A possible mulch for your container is banana leaf. Shred the banana leaf. Insert the shredded banana leaf into the container on top of the soil. As you water the plant, the banana leaf also provides nutrients as it decomposes over time. Garden pests are one of the most prevalent problems faced by gardeners. Good thing there are plants and flowering plants that also act as natural deterrent to home garden pests. Basil, lemongrass, and marigold are just some plants that drive away pests from your vegetable garden. So this could be used as an intercrop between vegetable plants. Physical and mechanical controls use tools to directly remove or kill pests or physically keep insect pests from reaching their host by means of a barrier or trap. Some methods alter the physical environment to make it unfavorable to pests. Physical and mechanical controls have relatively little impact on natural enemies and are compatible with biological control. This is the removal of insects, larva, pupa, and damaged plant parts by hand or using tweezers for larva, so as to prevent pests from further infestation into the growing crops. Yellow sticky traps are designed to attract and capture a variety of low-flying insects, such as aphids, white flies, and fruit flies. It can be made from any yellow colored or painted material spread with any oil, such as cooking oil or motor oil, as an adhesive. The yellow sticky trap is set or installed beside the plants. In this example, a piece of aluminum or GI sheet has been painted yellow and is attached to a bamboo stake. Smear the sticky trap with oil and set beside your plants. You will need to wipe off the captured insects periodically and replenish the oil. Light traps are used to lessen the activity of a huge range of insect species, moths, and other flying insects, particularly nocturnal or night insects. These insects are attracted to the light and its reflection in the water in the basin or pail. However, Light traps are not selective of insects, and hence, may trap beneficial insects too. Fruit bagging is one of the common methods of preventing damages on the fruits. A mesh net is the ideal material so the fruit can breathe and there is no moisture buildup. Soil solarization is an environmentally friendly method of using the sun's power to control pests such as bacteria, fungi, insects, nematodes, weeds, and weed seeds in the soil. The sun heats the soil to temperatures that rids it of pests. The process involves covering the soil, usually with a transparent polyethylene cover, to trap solar energy. Keep the soil covered for two weeks in between crop cycles. Protective structures, net tunnels, or a greenhouse can be used not only to protect the plant from the heat of the sun, but also to protect from insect pests. Biological control uses natural enemies of pests to suppress or prevent a pest outbreak, as well as biopesticides from plants. Not all insects are harmful, some can be helpful. For example, Spiders and lady beetles eat sucking insects that cause plant diseases. Biopesticides are botanical sprays made from plants or vegetables. These are sprayed in the early morning or late afternoon when insect infestation is present. A simple biopesticide is made from one bulb garlic, one medium onion, and chili pepper. Then add 1 tablespoon dishwashing liquid and spray. This can mitigate worms and sucking insects. Chop all ingredients and add to 1 liter of water. Cover 
and set aside for one hour. After an hour, add one tablespoon liquid detergent. The bio pesticide is now ready for use. Another useful bio pesticide which can handle most agricultural pests is made from lemongrass leaves. Chop or cut the lemongrass into smaller lengths. Crush the lemongrass leaves and steep in equivalent amount of water for 12 hours. After 12 hours, strain liquid. Dilute one part liquid to 10 parts water. For example, if we have one cup liquid, we will dilute in 10 cups water. We can fill up a liter container with the solution. Add one tablespoon dishwashing liquid per liter. Stir well and spray. For various plant diseases, the leaves of malunggay, ipil-ipil, and kakawate can provide control. The mode of preparation is similar for these leaves. I will demonstrate using malunggay, also called moringa. Gather and wash the leaves and crush by pounding or through a blender. Steep in equivalent amount of water for 12 hours. For example, 1 cup crushed leaves in 1 cup water. Strain the solution to separate the leaves from the liquid. Dilute 1 cup of the extract in 1 liter of water and you are ready to spray. The Plant Pathology Department of East Reseed, Philippines has created a reference website called Plant Doctor to help us manage plant pests and diseases. When you first go to the website, you will be asked to choose your crop. As an example, let's click on tomato. After clicking on tomato, we will next see this page asking for the plant part affected, whether leaf, stem, fruit, root, or whole plant. As an example, let's click on leaf. Clicking on the leaf brings us to this page with pictures of leaves with disease or pest. We can select the picture that comes closest to our plant in distress. A very common problem with tomato is white flies on the lower right. Let's click on that as an example. After clicking on white flies, we will see this page with details on the disease or pest, the damage it can do, and what you can do to manage the disease or pest. For our tomato example experiencing white flies, suggestions are given such as monitor the area regularly, use yellow sticky traps, remove weeds and volunteer plants that may serve as alternate hosts, Use of insecticidal soaps or oil, such as neem oil, to reduce population. So remember, when experiencing pests and disease of these different crops, just go to plantdoctor.eastwesseed.com. The plant doctor is always in. Keep in mind, you don't need a lot of land to grow a lot of food. Wishing you success in your home gardening. Thank you for joining us in this webinar series and we hope that you learned a lot. For more guides in growing vegetables, you may visit growhow.eastweseed.com. To learn more about Eastweseed's vegetable varieties, please download CropWiki EWS app on Google Play or Apple App Store. You can now order high-quality vegetable seed online from the comfort of your home. Visit East West Seed official Lazada store today. Bye for now!